So the problem that we are going to solve today is called valid palindrome. A phrase is a palindrome if after converting all uppercase characters into lowercase characters and removing all non-alphanumeric characters, it reads the same from the forward and the backward. Alphanumeric characters include letters and numbers. So let's look at an example. So here I have a sentence called sit on a potato pan otis. And if we remove all the spaces and non alphanumeric characters that is comma and exclamation mark from it, the sentence will be sit on a potato pan otis. And if you look from the backwards, okay, you'll notice that it is a palindrome sit on a potato pan otis. Okay, so it is a palindrome. The same from the backwards and the front. Okay, so let us see how to solve this problem. So the very basic solution that I can think of is I can just take a new string. Let me call that as new s. And I will keep on adding the character to the string. If it is an alphanumeric character and if it is not such as space and comma, I will not add that to this string. And finally, while returning I can check whether the new s from the forward and new s from the backward is equal or not and that is the very basic thing we can do. So let us try to solve this on lead code. Make sure you have selected the python3 interpreter. The first thing we will do is we will define a new string an empty string and we will run a loop over the sentence. So we will check if i dot is alnum. This alum basically checks if the character or the string is alphanumeric or not. We'll append this i to the new string. So we have got the new string without alphanumeric character. But one more thing we have to do is we have to convert this characters into lower. So let us do it here itself. So we'll add the alphanumeric characters and convert them into lowercase. Okay. So now we have got this sit on a potato pan otis. So now what we have to do is we have to check this from the reverse and the front. So what we'll do is return new s equals equals new s colon colon minus one this thing will reverse the string it will show the string from opposite direction and it will take the string from the forward direction we are checking if they are equal it will return true if they are not equal it will return false so let's try to run this we are getting pass in all the cases we have passed the cases and let us submit this and let's see Cool, we have passed all the test cases here and the time complexity and the space complexity for this problem will be, let me just go to this, time complexity will be big O of n, this is the time complexity and the space is also big O of n. Why? So time complexity is big O of n because we are iterating over all the characters of the sentence and the space complexity is big of n because we are defining a new string which will have the entire string leaving a few alphanumeric characters okay so time complexity and space complexity is big o of n okay so can we improve this can we have a better solution i think yes we can do this problem without defining a new string and that will reduce the space complexity further how to do that we can take two points one is start that starts from zero and one is end that starts from the length of the string minus one. So basically the first point starts from zero and the end point this starts from end. We can keep on matching this first and the last point. Okay. And we'll skip all the non alphanumeric characters and spaces and match S with this S. It is matching. We'll match I with this I at the end. It is matching. Similarly, we'll go ahead and go one step on start. That will match with the one step on end okay so we'll simply it will match all the characters from start to end and we can end the loop when the start goes ahead of the end so let's say the start goes at a and the end is at t we can end the loop okay so let's see how to type that out we'll remove this solution first we'll take two points start comma end start starts from zero and end starts from length of s minus one then we will run a loop where start is less than end so start shouldn't be greater than end if start goes beyond end that means the start point has gone beyond the end point so the first thing we will do is if s start dot is alnum 
and if it is not alnum okay so if not a start dot is alnum we will just increase the start so basically this means that if there is an exclamation mark on the front we will skip this and we'll go to the next character okay and we will continue so we will go ahead with the next iteration then we will check if not s end dot is alnum again if the last character if the end point is not an alnum we will just go behind one step that is end minus equals one and we will continue okay finally we will check that if s start not equals s end and we have to also do lower here and we will return false here so we are checking if the start point dot lower is not equals to end point dot lower so basically that means here we have s and s let us imagine we had s here and a here the first character could be s and the last character could be a so if that was the case so we will just check if they are not equals we will directly return false okay finally we will increase the start once the check is done and if the characters are equal we will not enter the condition and we will just increase the start point and decrease the end point one step that means the point at where the start lies and the point at the end lies are equal so i will increase the start by one and decrease the end by one finally our loop is done at the very end if the loop has not returned false we will return true let's see if this runs correctly okay great it runs correctly on the sample test cases let's try to submit this Cool. it runs on the test cases too okay and the time complexity for this is again big o of n let me just go back to the whiteboard the time complexity of this solution is big o of n but the space complexity here is constant okay just because we have not defined any extra arrays or any strings we have just taken two constant variables the space complexity is constant and time complexity is big of n although we could say that the time complexity is n by 2 which equals to n because we are running the loop half the time this method of taking two points start and end is known as two pointer method okay two pointer method that was the solution of the problem valid palindrome if you have any better solution you can post that in the comments and also if you have any questions regarding this solution please post that in the comments more lead code problems are coming soon. Please stay tuned and follow Jovian.